Okay, get inside. Close the door. Oh god, I'm totally drenched in snow. Must have gone through the gaps in my jacket hood. I can feel melt water dripping down my back. Gross. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you when you said you knew where you were going. Oh, it's a shortcut. It'll actually save us time. <sighs> no, I'm not saying you should have known there would be a blizzard, but I am saying we should have stuck to the main trail. And we would if you hadn't... Oh no, <laughs> don't try to blame this on me. It's not like... Okay, whatever. Just shut up. We don't have to keep bickering. We need to act quickly, or we're going to get hypothermia. How do I know? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I actually bothered reading the emergency guide section in the back of the pamphlet they handed out back at the lodge. At least one of us did. You're welcome. Damn it. My whole shirt is soaked through and through, straight to the skin. My jacket barely helped at all. Okay, fast. We need to get our wet clothes off, and then we need blankets or something to keep insulated, or we could go into shock. Don't just stand there, you idiot. At least you brought your pack, so you're not totally useless. Get the sleeping bags out, and find a towel or a cloth or something we can use to dry ourselves off. Okay, there's a fireplace here, and it's full. Maybe one of the rangers brought in firewood recently or something. I don't know who else would have used this cabin. It's so far out of the way. It's not even marked on the maps. Let me see if I have something to light in my knapsack. All right. An electric heater would be better, but the fire's hot enough to keep us warm for now. As long as we stay really close to it. What about you? Did you find anything? What is that? A hand towel? Why is it so small? You seriously don't have anything else? <sighs> Alright, fine. It'll have to do. It won't warm us up much, but at least we can dry off with it. Now what about the sleeping bags? Why did you only take one sleeping bag out? There's two of us, genius. What do you mean he split the equipment with you? What? What are you saying? Are you... Are you saying you only have one sleeping bag? Seriously? Oh my god... Share it! We can't share it! Because we're not exactly going to be wearing our pajamas, obviously. We have to get all of our white clothes off. Yes, even our underwear. Or at least I do. Because the inside of my underwear feels like I just stripped it off of a mermaid. Every piece of wet clothing drops your body temperature. The guide said so. We have to take them off. Ugh, oh my god. How could you bring only one sleeping bag? Yeah, I know we were supposed to go back to camp to sleep, but... Ugh, god damn it. Okay, deep breaths. We can do this. We're both professional, mature adults here. We can do this. We'll just have to use the same one. Now, uh, turn around and close your eyes. No, I'm not kidding. Quickly. Okay. All right. Don't you dare peak. Alright, that'll have to do. You can open your eyes now. What kind of stupid question is that? Uh, yeah, if you haven't been paying attention, yes, I'm naked. Now quick, unless you want to freeze to death with that stupid look on your face, get your clothes off. Yes, yes, I'll close my eyes too. Fine. You're done? You're coming in? No, no, I won't open my eyes. Fine, but just... 
Just be really, really careful where you put your hands as you're getting in, okay? Yeah, I know there's no room. The sleeping bag's only meant for one person. But just... Ugh. Oh my god, you're, you're touching my... Move your fucking hand. Pay attention. <sighs> Are you done? Can I open my eyes now? Okay. See? That wasn't so bad. I can feel your body lying on top of me and pressing into me, but that doesn't have to be weird. We're just following hypothermia prevention protocols. That's all. We're just two adults in a sleeping bag together, without any of our clothes on, being uh, responsible and smart in an emergency situation. Hmm. Well, now we just have to wait for our clothes to dry off and the storm to subside. Should only take a few ugh, hours. Why? Why the hell are you looking at me? <sighs> Where else should I look? I don't know. Literally anywhere else. Just not at me. This is awkward enough. Just. Okay. Listen. You can look over at that wall. And I'll look over at the other wall, and we'll stay like that. Sound like a plan? Okay, fine. That is stupid. Let's just look at each other. Talk? You seriously want to talk while we're like this? I mean, I guess we aren't going to sleep, and... I don't think anything you say could be more awkward than lying here in silence. So, fine. We can talk, I guess. You start. <laughs> nice weather we're having. Seriously. Oh, you're joking. Okay, fine. I'll admit that was kind of funny. Look, um, I'm sorry I called you an idiot earlier. And I'm not just saying that because your body heat is the only thing keeping the feeling in my fingers. <laughs> no, 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 it's true. I was just panicking and lashing out. Now, to be fair, I was half hypothermic, so I think that's a decent excuse. I know I wasn't exactly nice to you before the blizzard, either. You have really nice eyes. You know that? Sorry, that was super weird. I have no idea why I said that. It's just, I've obviously never seen them like two inches from my face before, and that thought just popped into my head. Maybe my brain isn't totally unfrozen yet. Oh, you really think so? Well, thanks for saying that, I guess. That's actually kind of sweet. You know what's crazy? When Heather invited me on this trip, I almost wasn't going to go. But I changed my mind last minute. And now, here we are. I wasn't going to go because... I know you guys don't like me. Yeah, it is true. Everyone thinks I'm a bitch. Yeah, they do. I overheard them talking about me in the hall a couple nights ago when they thought I was asleep. Veronica actually called me a mythic bitch. What does that even mean? Like I'm not even a person. I'm just some big bad dragon who swooped in to breathe fire all over everyone's good time. And that's not the first time either. I know how people feel about me, even if they don't say it to my face. I'm not stupid. And, okay, some of how they feel maybe isn't their fault. I mean, I haven't exactly been the nicest person ever. 
and I know that. But also, like, people just assume I'm mean or I'm going to be rude to them because I'm standoffish sometimes. But I don't mean to be. I'm just awkward. Sometimes I feel like people don't even get to know me because they just make all these assumptions about me beforehand. <sighs> oh my god. Why am I even telling you all this? Like you even care? No, you don't. You're just saying that because A. You're not trying to argue with the naked boy whose body you're currently lying on top of, and B. My body heat is probably the only thing keeping your heart from stopping. <laughs> Was that an attempt at a pickup line? <laughs> well, honestly, I've heard worse. I'm sorry I called you an idiot before, by the way. Wait, did, did I already say that? Whatever. I'll say it again, then. I probably called you an idiot more than twice, anyway. Your chest is really warm. I can feel you trying to keep your distance from me. And I appreciate the courtesy and all, but it's okay. I mean, it's, uh, it's okay if you want to press against me a little. It's actually the uh, smart thing to do. What, with the, um, the hypothermic protection? Yeah. You know, sometimes I feel like it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. People expect me to be this kind of person, and that hurts. It hurts when people just assume bad stuff about you. A lot. And then I get upset. And I sometimes do act mean. And they just think they were right all along. They judge me before they even get to know me. And then I turn into exactly who they thought I was. It just sucks. I don't even know what I'm saying. Y you didn't think that? Yeah, right. We were fighting literally the whole way here. Oh, you mean before? Like when we first got to know each other. You thought I was just quiet, not mean. Maybe I just kind of assume because all of your friends felt that way about me. You did too. Okay, elephant in the room. Uh, I know you can feel me, uh, poking into you. Cut me some slack. I'm not giving you any grief for your... Ugh, never mind. I am not blushing. That's just blood returning to my facial muscles or something. If you'd read the pamphlet, you idiot. Wait, no, no, sorry. I said I wouldn't call you that anymore. I just... <sighs> okay, I told you I was awkward. I'm not doing anything. I'm just working the circulation back into my hands by rubbing them up and down your very warm sides. How are you so warm? Repetitive motions and another person's body heat are ideal for getting circulation back into your hands. You should probably try it with my body. If you, uh, want to. I mean, I mean, you, you don't have to, it's just, if you want... Hmm. Oh, yeah. It actually feels really nice when you rub my shoulders like that. Maybe I should return the favor. Don't stop. That feels amazing. And my back. Yes, just a little further down. You're a really good cuddler. Like, seriously. This feels so nice and snug and warm. Hold me a little tighter, please. Yeah, just like that. Here, 
let me uh try something. I'll just bring my hand up out of the sleeping bag and cup your face here. Oh my, your cheek is burning up. My hand is soft. Does it feel nice? Okay, good. I want it to feel nice. I want you to feel as nice as you're making me feel. Anyway, about that thing I wanted to try. Just close your eyes a second, tilt your head a little, and... Did... Did you like that? <laughs> I liked it too. Here, let me put my hand on the back of your head and bring you in just a little bit closer. Yeah, nuzzle in just like that. D do you want to do it again? Mm. Mm. Did, did you... Did you just put your tongue in my mouth? No, no, it's, it's totally okay. I kind of liked it. I've never done that before. At least not that I can remember. I mean, I know people do it, but I just... Mm, it felt really good, though. Can I try it with you? Okay, here goes. That feels so weird, but it's a nice kind of weird. I could get used to it. I really want to keep going, but before we do, I, uh, I have to ask you something. Um, did you mean what you said earlier? I mean that you didn't feel like I was a jerk or a bitch. Or a big bad dragon? <laughs> Thanks. You're sweet. I was thinking maybe... Maybe after this, we could start over. Forget all the stuff we said. All the fighting. Pretend like we're just total strangers meeting each other for the first time. Well, okay, maybe not exactly like total strangers, since we're cuddling naked with our tongues in each other's mouths and all. <laughs> you know what I mean. Maybe we could put all the bad blood and misunderstandings behind us. Start fresh as friends. Maybe more than friends, if you want it. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. Hey, look out the window. It's basically just a wall of white. The blizzard doesn't look like it's letting up anytime soon. But the fire hasn't died either. And I don't mean the fire in the fireplace. <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I gave you a pass for your lame pickup line earlier. Just... Shut up and kiss me again. You know, kissing is actually a very effective anti-hypothermic measure because of how it stokes your body heat. <laughs> oh no, I swear I'm not making that up. It was in the pamphlet. If you'd actually read it, you might know that. 